touched on this, but I want to make sure I do the topic justice. When it comes to your homeboys, there's a certain line you have to draw. You can't carry yourself the same with your homeboys the way you did before you was in a relationship. Like, before you're in a relationship, usually you and your homeboys are all out doing single shit. That's cool. You go to the club, you compete for who can get this girl's attention. You know, whoever whoever makes eye contact with her first or whoever she smiles at first, go get a number or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? You go out and y'all do single shit, spring break, single shit. That's cool. But the moment you get in a relationship, the same way you have to conduct yourself differently is the same way you have to operate differently with your circle. A lot of y'all always bragging about having a small circle. It don't mean shit if you still got snakes in it or people who aren't on the same page for what you're trying to protect in your life and what you're trying to do and accomplish and build in your life. Which once a woman comes into that equation, a woman that you feel like is a good woman that you could possibly spend the rest of your life with, she has to become that priority. That's going to be the one that's really going to be your best friend over your best friends that you used to have. Because you know, as men, we are are quick to hold women accountable for the friends that they keep and the shit that they let their friends tell them and you know how they let friends into their business and all of that but when it comes to our friends we seem to have absolutely no fucking membrane whatsoever it's just like everything passes through nothing gets stopped typically what we do to fuck up our boys relationship hey man you see that girl over there with the fat ass damn bro she's looking at you hey man last night i had two of them you should have been there so if you got homies like that they ain't your real homies not if you're trying to build a relationship with a woman. You need homeboys that's going to pull you aside and say, bro, like, I know you see that girl, and I know she's fine, but do not fuck up what you got at home. Bro, I know you want to go out with us, you know, I got a little Vegas trip or whatever, but ain't nothing out here for you, man. You already won. Stay at home with your lady, man. Enjoy that, man. Do something romantic with her. That's the kind of homeboys that you need. You don't need nobody that's going to be encouraging you or telling you that you're missing out on shit that's over there in singlehood because you ain't single no more. And since we are humans, even whenever you genuinely and honestly commit to something, it's likely that you're going to fall from time to time. So it's good to have accountability partners and people who are going to continue you in that direction you were trying to go. Not people who are constantly pulling you so that the moment that you get weak, you pull in the direction that they're in and you fall. Just for you to suffer consequences that they don't have to live with. The moment you get something important going, you have to remove any and all forces against that. You have to separate yourself from things that aren't going to help you build that. That's simple. If I'm healthy and I'm trying to lift weights and work out and get a better body and get my, my, my numbers under control when I go to the doctor, I'm not going to continue going to the cheesecake factory. I'm not going to continue going to fish fries. I'm going to surround myself around other people who eat healthy. I'm going to go to places that have healthy selections. I'm going to go to the vegetable in the produce section of Walmart or Target or Publix, wherever I shop. I'm going to surround myself around things that give me the tools necessary to keep what I got intact. Not around things and tools that are only going to break down and ruin what I have. It's the same concept with your boys. If you have to cut off female friends and acquaintances that could possibly pull you in the wrong direction, direction you have to cut off your male acquaintances that could do the exact same thing what's going on y'all so you know a couple of days ago i made a video talking about checking your homeboys before you lose your girl basically saying you know if your boys ain't no good for your relationship then shit you gotta cut them up just like you know if there's cancer or something like that you gotta get surgery to re to remove that part of you that's sick so that you can live healthy and all of that it's the same way with a relationship and your boys but of course a couple of little homies they got and they feelings about it which i don't really care about that but I do want to make sure I'm absolutely clear, even for the people that agree with me, where I'm coming from, because the concept applies across the board. You know, we are growing people. We're ever-evolving beings. We don't stay the same. At least we ain't supposed to. So with that being said, how do things around us going to stay the same and we continue growing? You know, whenever you was five years old, you might have had some clothes that was nice and it was good and all that other shit. At age 15, them clothes might still be good, but guess what? They ain't for you no more. Why? Because you done grew out of them. You know, it's the same thing with your boys, you know. They might be cool dudes or whatever. They done held you down, y'all. Y'all done had all this fun. Y'all go way back and whatever. But if you outgrow them, bro, you got to know how to cut them off or at least tweak the way that you roll with them. You know, if you got nothing but homeboys that are single and they still hitting the strip clubs every other weekend or whatever, this shit, you can't roll with them like that. You can stay in touch and all that. But now you got a relationship and you're trying to build something that's going to be forever with your life partner. That's more important, I would think. You know, you don't want to cut off nobody or nothing that's too important. Like, you don't want to start deteriorating yourself or your health or losing relationships with, like, your mama or nothing like that. You did what I'm saying? But we make women well aware of all the ways they need to fold into our relationship expectations, you know. 
It don't matter how much money she making. She better not, you know, step on our ego about how much money we're not making. It don't matter if she didn't know how to cook. She better learn how to cook if she want to keep me. It don't matter if she's very conservative or whatever. She better be a freak. She better be willing to try this new shit or whatever. You know, all these different things. Hey, man, that should apply on our side, too. You know, it might not even be your homeboys. It might be something like, you know, watching porn. If that shit makes your girl uncomfortable, guess what? You got to stop. Or y'all got to come to some kind of terms or y'all watch it together or you don't watch it as much or something. Or if it ain't that, it might, it might be the way that you spend money. You know, as a single man, you spend hundreds of thousands of dollars every month on some J's and video games or whatever else you like to splurge on. But in a relationship, y'all got financial goals because y'all trying to build something sustainable, start a business, or get your little, your little one straight, you know, for college or whatever. So you can't spend like you did whenever you were single. That's the whole point of getting in a relationship, man. You're going from one place in your life to the next. So you can't do things the way you was doing them before and expect to really grow in the next phase of your life. So, you know, just be willing to make those sacrifices, man, for your relationship before you fuck around and be the sacrifice she makes so she can have the relationship she wants. This video, however you need to, listen. Just because somebody loves you doesn't mean that they're going to continue to wait. Doesn't mean they're obligated to wait for you to make a change that you're not even trying to make. Why should they keep preaching it when you ain't changing it? Why should they keep fighting for you when you won't even lift a finger for them? And don't say they quit on you. They quit on you. Maybe they finally woke up to the fact that they can't change you. Maybe they finally woke up to the fact that you're all talk, no action. There comes a point in all of us. There comes a point where somebody gets tired of trying. Gets tired of creating excuses for you. Gets tired of empty promises. Gets tired of their forgiveness being disrespected. Gets tired of you promising change but no changes. Like, life is too short to die miserable. Life should be dope and should be happy. It should be fun. Like, to be real, you wouldn't even put up with you. You wouldn't even tolerate you. So why are you expecting them to? And they're not wrong for leaving, especially somebody who's been loyal to you, somebody who's been fighting for you, somebody who's giving you chance after chance. They're not wrong for leaving. To be real, you're wrong for giving them reasons to, straight up. Please share this video if it's on your so world Trey here let's get right into this listen you can't expect connection by living in daily separation doing nothing together is how you end up not being happy together it's how you end up not staying together it's how you end up becoming familiar strangers you know living separately while living together under the same roof but couldn't be further apart don't eat together don't pray together don't sleep together don't visualize together don't plan together don't go out together don't set goals together do nothing together and what's crazy about it is that you still expect to be happy together wake up no relationship is gonna work if you don't work on it listen if you're not fighting to keep that bond strong then life's current time work problems sometimes kids just life's responsibilities in general have the power to drift you apart and sometimes so apart that it's impossible to bring that connection back and where there's no connection there's no power and where there's no power i believe there's no purpose let me put it to you like this think of your relationship like it's a plant in order for it to stay strong it needs frequent attention if it doesn't get it it will start to die but if you recognize it you can put in the work to make it strong again key word work but i'm gonna be real with you if you neglect it for too long there ain't no saving it no matter how much water you put on it or how much care you show it's not coming back do not let your relationship get to that point fight daily to make your relationship evolve not just exist limit the things that separate you and prioritize the things that connect you your relationship should feel like privilege not prison and as real as i can put it if you want it then work for it. If you don't, then let it go. Straight up. Like I said in every single video, it all starts with you. Please share this video, tag people to this video because so many people that are separated in relationships need this video so they can get back connected. Connect with me on Snapchat. What's up to all the rehabs across the world? Trent Shelton here. Connect me at TrentShelton.com. Another week, another video. Salute to all the rehabbers. I appreciate you so much. Let's get right into this. This is for men and women. Stop living like your shoes can't be filled because they can't. Stop living life like you can't be replaced. You're very replaceable. What you're taking for granted, there's someone else who will appreciate. While you're treating that relationship like a chore, 
There's someone else who knows that being in that relationship is a privilege. While you're treating that relationship like a burden, there's someone else who will cherish it as a blessing. While you're creating their tears, there's someone else who's willing to erase them. While you're depending on their forgiveness, there's someone else who wouldn't even take the chance of losing that person. While you're criticizing their flaws, there's someone else who would value those flaws just as much as their strength. If you want to appreciate their loyalty, guess what? Someone else will. If you want to appreciate their love, guess what? There's someone else who will. If you keep taking advantage of their kindness, eventually they're going to find the heart who won't. So you better get right before you get left straight up. Don't live a double standard life. Don't do it if you don't want it done to you. Treat like you want to be treated. Love like you want to be loved. Don't get mad at them for walking out the door that you open because I promise you, one day you'll want to love them like they love you. One day they'll stay on your mind just in the same way they used to think of you. The one day that you finally want them will be the same day that they no longer want you. Don't get mad when they leave your life because it was you that never showed that you cared for them to stay. They didn't walk away. They didn't walk away. You pushed them away. So get right before you get left. Appreciate it. Don't wait till it's going to do so. But it all starts with you. It's rehab time.